Welcome to Your Daily Revolution Podcast. Today's topic, reading books is a huge waste of time. Sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. Let's go! This is your daily revolution. Live in prosperity, we show you how to do it. There's no luck about it, we got the strategic blue. My friends, great to be with you guys today. Man, I'm excited that you're here in the podcast, right? Changing things up a little bit. We got the video going, we got the YouTube going. And of course, if you're listening to this podcast, it means that you are one of our loyal followers and subscribers. So thank you for listening. Only thing I ask of you, if this makes a difference in your life, share it with somebody. Will you share my podcast if it helps you in your life? Okay, that was, we're done with that. All right, reading books is a waste of time. Let's talk about this. So quick story, right? 2003, I'm done with the NFL. Done. Down in Alabama doing the final checkout. And it's like reality hits me because it's like, what am I going to do? There's no football. There's no college. I've graduated from college. I'm done. So I take the old charter bus over to the Barnes and Nobles at the time. I walk in there. I'm like, dude, this is real. And I go and pick up a copy of a book called Rich Dad, Poor Dad. In three days, I might've been two days. I read the book three times. I couldn't put the book down. Like I was immersed. It hooked me and it dragged me in. Why? It was giving me new knowledge. It was giving me new information. It was breaking up my belief system about what I thought was possible when it came to money. Read the book, I'm like, whoa, now what do I do now? I have no idea, but at least the seeds were planted. And then I went on a reading binge. I know some of you guys do these like alcohol binges. I've never tasted alcohol. Some of you guys go on these food uh, buffet binges. I do like to do that sometimes. And I went on the reading binge. I, I could not stop reading. Now, why do I say reading books is a waste of time? Some context. There comes a point in time where the only way that you're going to get better at something, okay, ready? The only way that you're going to get better at something is to put the, the book down and go and take action, right? For example, if you're going to be really, really good at sales, You do not want to read a sales book. You actually want to go and do sales. You want to pick up the phone, get in the job, go knock doors, sell Cutco knives, sell lotions, potions, pills, it don't matter. You're better off actually doing versus reading. There's a time and a place where you get to read. I get it, I love to read books. I still read books. I read one this morning, I read every day, but I do not use reading books or watching videos or listening to podcasts, wink, wink, as what I call a hide behind activity. Hide behind simply means, hey, I'm I'm going to avoid the necessary required action. And I'm going to avoid that by doing something that looks good, sounds good, feels good, checks the box, I'm reading a book. You know, I'm watching a YouTube video. You know, I'm doing some self-education. Listen, I got some news for you, my friend. You're actually wasting time. The best way to learn something is to do, right? There's a phrase or a quote that says, we learn to do by doing. Yes, you can learn by watching. Yes, you can learn by visualization. Yes, you can learn by going through the motions. Yes, you can learn by, you know, reading a book. But ultimately, the only way to learn how to swim is to jump into the pool or the ocean, get water up your nose, stroke and reach and reach and swim. The only way to get good at football is to play football. Only way to get good at pickleball is to play pickleball. The only way to get good at sales is to do sales. So why am I bringing this this topic up? A lot of people say you're hiding. You are hiding behind reading books. You are hiding behind watching videos. You are hiding behind doing the laundry and cleaning out the junk drawer and cleaning out the garage and going to clean your car and doing anything and everything which has you avoid doing what's required. So, question. What do you need to start doing today that would allow you to get better versus reading the book? Now, let's talk about this across the physical, spiritual, relational, financial, physically. 
Look, you can go research all the shoes you want and you can research all the CrossFit workouts and the keto diets and the fad diets and this diet and that workout, or you can just simply walk into the gym and go. Spiritually, uh, this is the crazy one for me, right? I grew up in a church, still part of that church, but I grew up in a, a culture where men and women prided themselves on memorizing scriptures. They prided themselves on being able to talk about Jesus. They prided themselves by being able to talk about ancient scriptures versus what have you done for me lately? Do you walk with Jesus today? Does God talk to you daily? Do you have the fruit? Do you have the fruit as Jesus talked about? More interested in people who actually do the word, right? Be ye doers of the word and not hearers only. And then of course, financially, oh man. A lot of people want to go read like, you know, uh, Wallace D. Waddles, The Science of Getting Rich and the law of attraction. Let me tell you what the law of attraction is. Ready? It's called sales. It's called skills. I heard this from uh, Hermosi and Frisella, right? Skills pay the bills, period. But we have a principle, principle nine says dollars follow value. It's principle nine. You want more money? Create value. You know, for example, I got a cell phone here, right? I paid, it's called a thousand dollars. I gave them a thousand, they gave me the phone. We exchanged, right? That's how you make money. People give you money because you have something that they value more than money. So if you want to express your value in the marketplace, it's called skills. And the only way to develop skills is to do it. Door to doors. I knocked doors for three years, developed a, a very, very beneficial unique set of skills, kind of like taking, right? What I possess is a set of skills. And if I find you, just kidding. So skills pay the bills, skills reveal the value. Again, we learn to do by doing. So here's my question for you. What one thing do you need to go do that would move you forward in your life today? Go do that thing today. I'm 46 years old at the time I'm shooting this podcast. I do every single day. My doing comes from being, but that's a whole nother conversation. Go and do the single thing that would help you to move forward in your physicality, spirituality, relationships, and your finances. And I promise you, 12 months from now, three years from now, five years, 10 years from now, you will be in a completely different place. We learn to do by doing. Have an amazing day, my friends. I appreciate you listening. And if this podcast makes a difference for you, guess what? Share it. Have an amazing day. I'm out.